Hello and welcome to my VRF Python tutorial part 1. This is the first part of detail series tutorial. In this whole series of tutorial, you will be able to make a functional real life computer vision based Raspberry Pi 4 robot in VRAP. At the same time, I will be publishing the Python tutorial of my Raspberry Pi 4 robot. For this tutorial, VRAP Pro Educational 3.4 version is used. Python version used is 3.5 with Spider 3 IDE. For computer vision implementation, OpenCV 4.0 is used. And for machine learning object recognition, Intel OpenVINO Toolbox is utilized. Autodesk Inventor 2020 is used for CAD part building before it is imported to VRAP in .stl file format. The main difference of my robot building tutorial with other available tutorial online is I am explaining how to build a virtual robot of a actual working robot. This working robot which is Raspberry Pi 4 based computer vision robot also is published at the same time. My viewers will be able to compare the VRAP Python robot with the physical Raspberry Pi 4 robot. There is almost 70% similarities between the Python codes of physical and virtual robot. My name is Ahmed Shoaib and I welcome you on board of virtual robot simulation building. Welcome back and let's get started with my project. So as you can see at the beginning, I have created uh, the robotic chassis, which is just a ordinary uh, robot buggy you can find um, over eBay or Amazon. And it cost, uh, it, it cost uh, me about um, 30 pounds, the whole, whole settings, uh, including uh, all the ribbon cables and four TT motors. Here you can see I have used uh, six volt TT motors, uh, which um, I believe is pretty common in any country or uh, most of the part of the world. And you can see the four wheels I have designed and it has got the same physical property as my uh, original uh, robotic uh, vehicle I've got. So the cat parts uh, contains all the weight ratio and uh, uh, center of the gravity. So um, the m movement I will get from the simulation will actually resemble the movement I will get in real life. Well, now as I am progressing, so I got the top cover of the robotic chassis vehicle and now I will uh, assemble all the parts uh, one by one. So the parts uh, list include uh, the first one will be the buck converter and the job of the buck converter is got um, to convert the 12 volt DC battery on board power supply uh, to uh, to uh, condition it for Raspberry Pi uh, power supply as well. So it help it get 12 volt power supply and it convert it to uh, 5 volt power supply for Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi has got its on board power supply and it doesn't have to be connected with the mains. So this is really pretty handy for mobile robot operation. And uh, uh, the next part I will assemble. Uh, <coughs> one second. I have used a standard motor controller uh, from my previous project and my previous project was the Myrio LabVIEW based solar tracker. So from there I used that uh, same motor controller I was using for um, NI Myrio. So that NI Myrio motor controller I have just, I have just adapted for Raspberry Pi 4 operation. The next part I would assemble is the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I use the 4GB version and this Raspberry Pi 4 I try to make it uh, simple and uh, as you can see it is missing some of the uh, some of the components but uh, for CAD designing uh, where the um, mainly the center of gravity and all the weight aspect matters um, it, it really doesn't matter uh, so yeah we can carry on with this and this part is my webcam I have used the trust uh, cheap webcam the cheapest webcam in market 
the reason for using this webcam is that uh, it has got uh, well it has got the operation which is uh, okay for entry level project and it, is, it doesn't cost fortune so uh, in this way i can keep uh, the project cost down so as you can see i have assembled the whole robot at the and it has got 99% um, similarity with my physical robot and uh, the weight ratio and center of gravity distribution um, uh, is same for uh, same like the ro real life robot as well I want to keep this video under five minutes so uh, I will see you at next part and uh, by this time I would recommend you to go to my uh, git repository uh, to get the detailed code and I would uh, also like to invite you on board that uh, mm, you get involved in, in my project uh, by really actually joining and modifying a uh, part of the project and uh, 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 let me know the outcome of it so that we can work together um, that's why I have uh, dedicated the whole project in my git repository hope you will find it interesting uh, I will see you at next time thank you very much